James? Sir. I want to prepare the publicity budget. All right, sir, I will. And um, Jessica? Sir. Prepare your marketing plan. And both of you should submit your report to Angela. Angela? Sir. I want a total cost of this 20th anniversary celebration. And that includes venue and security, entertainment, refreshment, logistics, as well as publicity and marketing. I want to believe we have addressed every area concerning this 20th anniversary celebration because I want to the press on this You may go. you that? You mean you have not gone to the hospital to see him? You know, that is a funny question. My father, I suppose, is your boss, who literally picked you out of the gutters and made you single-handedly what you are today. And yet, you cannot even update yourself as regards the state of health. It's pathetic, don't you think? Well, that is so, but presently, I don't know about his conditions. You find one to speak about caring about people. Well, to the point, I would like you to instruct your accountant to make out a check for one million naira in my favor. I have needs, and I have a schedule as well. I'm sorry, Mr. Rick, but I can't do that. What do you mean, can't? What is hindering you? I cannot authorize such cash withdrawal to you without your father's approval. Yes. You know, I think you're tired of this job. What you require is a long, extended holiday. And that will happen very soon if you don't adhere exactly to my instructions. Your father's instructions were clear. No cash withdrawal of over 100,000 without his consent. Well, in the absence of my father, you more. Could you boss? Only at your father's death, Mr. Eric. And even then, until I get a clear directives to that effect. Mr. Stanley and Kurt, company constitution form. Must I remind you that my father is physically ill and cannot discharge his duty as the chief executive of this company and is in his absence. That means I'm in control. Your father is not dead, Eric. He is only incapacitated temporarily. He's still alive and his instructions stands. you even father because there's no space left believe me i'm not the kind of man you need as an enemy i'm way too potent you may hate me eric but i am only following instructions and those instructions will lead to your destruction i promise you
These girls at this critical time. Critical. What's so critical about this time? Huh? At least I know none of them are your daughters. <laughs> God forbid. I only came here to find out why you have not come to see your father in the hospital the past two weeks. His condition is even getting critical. Father? He said your father was dead. <laughs> is that why you go about telling people, young man? Hey, put a cap on your dog, okay? Look around you, this is my house. Now my father is your concern, your sole business. What I do in this house is absolutely of no concern of yours. Hmm? I do. You speak to me with respect. Your mother will be ashamed of your arrogant behavior. Ever. Ever in your life, be my mother into this room. Ever. Believe me, it's not a good idea. Okay? The way I say between you and me, you have two options. You have that chill out, have a drink, and lose not for once in your life. Any of the chicks. Oh, yeah. Come on, I know you want the girls. <laughs> no. To think that your father hoped you would eventually amount to something. You know what? This is getting out of hand. You understand me? It's either you, you drink or you, oh, your sister standing here. Now get out. Get out of my house. Oh, you don't want to go, huh? I'm going to unleash this girl for you. I'm leaving for you. I won't be hanging around in the vicinity. <laughs> Thank you. 
bothering you, man? My father. Always my father. The man has been lying in the hospital for over one month and has refused to die. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Eric. What the doctor said. It's just a matter of time. Time? Time is one luxury I cannot afford anymore. Now, all they had to do was put me in charge of the conglomerate. But no! He had to put that blasted GM. And that one had the audacity to tell me what to do. Patience, man. A little patience. It's definitely not gonna be forever. Hmm? You know, I had my own ideas. My own principle as, as regards how this thing should be run. I had everything planned perfectly. And what happened? He messed up all my dreams. I have to bring my honor back. My respect. I must intimidate my mates in London. So they will know I'm still the head nigger in charge. I wanted to quit things. I, I wanted to, to oh, what did I want to do? I wanted to, to, to create a modern thriving business empire. That befits my training. But what happened? I came back to meet this buying and selling a cake business. This thing that he calls an empire. <laughs> he called me and asked me to come back to this land. And I honored my father and I did. And what did he go and do? He placed me on a paltry chicken feed monthly salary. Me. Hope he doesn't skim you out of his wheel with some strange woman coming from nowhere. Hell no! Yes. The man entertaining of the idea, believe me, is very dangerous. He ain't even supposed to study anything like that. This is my game. I'm on top of this game. I'm the heir apparent. You hear me? Nobody. Nobody. Living or dead can skim me out of this thing. I forget this look. Believe me, I can feel it. I'm this close. This thing is there. And the timing is impeccable. Now all I need to do is watch. Oh wait. Don't get me wrong. I respect my father. He was a guru in his generation. I respect that whole generation. But your thinking belongs to museum shelves now. This is our time. It's our generation. We want things now. The youth. Believe me. What he can do is suppress my spirit. But what I know that he cannot do Kill my vision, my mission. Nobody can do it because you know, you know that what Eric wants, Eric gets.
<laughs> what are you doing here? I thought you said you weren't coming home till Saturday. Mm, yes, actually the personal parade was yesterday. And I was supposed to come back with my friends on Saturday, but I said, what the heck, let me come see my baby wife. Yeah, right. <laughs> Tease me some more. What happened to your phone? I was calling it and it was switched off. Tweety, service has been terrible, honestly. <laughs> so, what are you still doing in this, uh, this uniform? Well, I told you, I just got back from camp. Wait a minute. You know I drive your father's car? Oh, this. Well, my dad is not around and I'm going to the salon. Okay. So, um, are you going to Frank's place? Of course. Okay, help me and let me give you a ride. Alright then, you go and let me close the door first of all. <laughs> Come here, I've missed you. <laughs> It was quite interesting. You served in Cardinal, so of course you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. And I hope you did foster national unity by integrating with some of those splitting arenas. Ah, no, 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 no. I did no such thing. Not with my Lucy waiting for me here. No way. You still want to marry her? Do I still want to marry her? Listen, that girl is the only girl in my life. The day I get a job is the day I'll set a date for our traditional wedding, trust me. Then you had better do that fast. Real fast. Why? Listen, Lucy is young, pretty, intelligent, a graduate. And she comes from a powerful family. Listen, Henry, Lucy is every bachelor's dream. And remember, I am still a bachelor. Now, keep in your bachelor dreams. Keep away from her. Keep your eyes, your nose, your lips, everything about you away from my Lucy. I will kill for that girl, you know, even you. Hey, hi, Lucy. Hi. You're still I'm, looking, I'm all right, you're still looking as good as oh, mm. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, I'm sorry I didn't make it on time. I had to go do some shopping. Really? Mm. Um, Lucy, what do I get you? Anything soft to do. Soft. All right. <laughs> so, here. What's it? Open it. Oh, come on. Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, you see, you shouldn't have. I also got this for you. If I may do with this for the meantime. Where did you get this money from? I stole it. I stole it from my bank account. But where else do you think I would get the money from? You see, you shouldn't have gone through the trouble. You shouldn't have. Let me help you put the bank You see, I don't know how I would have managed without your assistance. Thank you. You're welcome. And of course, you know I love you. I love you too.
doing? I'm going to see my father. <laughs> Is how you dressed up like this? Mm -hmm. I saw him die in a dream yesterday. Really died this time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I want to rush over there real quick. No. On the way, buy him a nice, cute little coffin that can bury him immediately before they put him in a mortuary and start all that elaborate preparation. Besides, I need to look really fly for all his friends that will be coming for the condolence visit. <laughs> Sissy, you, you, you sound like you already walked it out. Yes, I have. But, but at least you, you, you give the old man a decent burial. Hmm? Nope. This embarrass cost money. Way too much money. You see, Eric, when you inherit everything, you be worth billions. So why don't you... Uh... Well, when the old man was alive, he deprived me of good money when I needed it. So it's only right I deprive him of a decent burial. It's it for that. That's how this world works, man. Come in. Uh, no, no, I, I have one of two things to take care of. Right? So I'm gonna see you there. Hmm? All right, Jane. I'll throw you in. <laughs> oh, I just finished running a um, chest and x-ray on Chief Harlem room 5. Oh, what a pity. He doesn't have much time to live. Mm -mm. Maybe, just maybe, he does have much time. What are you talking about? Okay. Um, like I take a good look at this. Um, this was the x-ray around four weeks ago. Yeah, and um, the reason why I'm interested. We just ran this x-ray yesterday. The infection is spreading fast, very fast. That is impossible. Cancer does not spread that fast. Exactly. That's why I ordered another biopsy and blood test from the lab. Acute pulmonary bronchial infection? Where did we miss it? Um, obviously, there must have been a mix-up in the lab. 
means we've been treating the wrong ailment. Now, you have to run additional test. Okay. Complete blood work. Bronchoscopy. Uh, just to confirm. I'll do just that. Okay. Uh, just meanwhile, yeah. uh, we have to suspend the present uh, uh, treatment regime. Oh, thank you. Metro, uh, please come to my office immediately. bad news. Oh no, no, rather we have good news. Your father is not as ill as we thought. What are you talking about? Uh, what we thought was a um, uh, lung cancer. Uh, we suspecting acute bronchitis. What are you saying? You're saying he's going to leave? Oh yes, yes, yes. Uh, we've run additional tests on him, and we're expecting the result. I I'm sure it's going to be positive. You may go in and see him. Oh, he, he, good, good news, dog. Whoa. sea of women that came and left without name or background. It was one conference or board meeting after another. The endless journeys. There was no hope for me. And I'm the only thing that I live for.
was nobody that was there. What is the use of having so much money when the only son you have has no access to it? What is the use of having money when that money cannot be used? Grieving. You made me who I am. And I'm feeling man. There has no compassion for anything but conquest. There's no woman that was good enough. You was for no reason. The background has stationed in life. There's no friend I had that could stay. They were all never good enough for you. I lived for your dreams. I lived by your dictates. I had no life of my own. And the worst of all, the worst that eat me every second of my life, One woman that would die for me. She was sick, Father. I was terminally sick. I just needed some money to take her abroad, but no, you refused. Because you were so stingy. You and I, day after day, will watch that deteriorate. Your wife. Father. You killed the one person that I lived for. The one person that would die for me. What does you want me to give? And now, you have refused to die. Thereby depriving me of my own dreams.
until I get authorization from his son. Hey, sir, don't you think keeping it so long will be better? Welcome, Mr. Eric. Welcome, sir. Uh, please sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Sit down, sir. Trust me, you have more use for that chair than I do now. Yeah. Now, I presume the company lawyer must have sent you a directive as regards my new status in this company. Yes, and um, once again, I want to express my heartfelt sympathy over the death of your father. Save the crap. You and I know you don't feel nothing. Let's go to the chase. I want you to summon an immediate meeting of all the heads of department who will have the meeting at the boardroom. Effective now. All right? Yes, sir. And now, Mr. Dibble. The immediacy of your action will translate on whether you want to spend uh, time in this company or not. Capish? Yes, sir. This house cleaning. We'll start with you, Mr. Debora. Effective from this point on, this company no longer requires your services. What? You can't do that to me. Your full benefits and entitlements will be paid to you. Mr. Eric, you can't do that to me. I have put in so much in this company. I'm aware. That's why we're paying all your entitlements with extras. Eric. Look. 20 years. You still insist on addressing me by my first name. You, sir, are fired. Would you kindly escort the gentleman outside? Okay, sir. Look, look, you just can't do that to me. I'll leave now, Eric. Please. You can leave now, please. A man with a family and so much responsibility. You can leave now, please. You can leave. Please. You can leave. I'll leave. Okay. Let's go. Mr. Eric. Please. I say you can leave now. Mr. Eric. Let's go. Let's go. Now, also effective from this point on, I'd like to appoint your new general manager, the person of uh, Mr. Collins Davis. And you should take uh, Mr. Debolos place immediately. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, um, in the absence of any other agenda that um, you wish to discuss, I would like to take any questions if you have any. Hmm? Sir. Yes, madam. What has this new arrangement got to do with our accounting procedure? Wonderful. It's a brilliant question. Are you by any chance I'm the head of the finance department, madam? Yes, sir. Good. Because from this point on, your services are also not required by this company. You're fired. But, sir... Ah, no, no but. Will you kindly escort the lady as she seemed to be in shock? Okay, sir. Um, madam, you can leave now. And please, don't take the file with you. We don't want us getting out of here for ourselves now, do we? I like to run an open house. A liberal open house where you can air your grievances 
or if any of your fundamental rights have been trampled upon, please see me as a, an avenue to vent your spleen. Come to me. We'll discuss it. So if anybody's got a problem as regards the way I just uh, took care of business, so to speak, you're free to air your views. James. Sir. Particularly, do we understand each other? I'm with you, sir. I know you know where your allegiance lies. Um, I also love the way you handle the company. I admire your enthusiasm, sir. But ask you soon, they will not help you in any way. Well, in the absence of every other agenda, can you all get up and go and earn some of those fabulous salaries that pay you? Get going. Ministry. Huh? I've done everything they asked me to do. I gave them the money. I rented the petroleum depot. Huh? They even inspected it. Now they're saying they're refusing me the contract. I don't understand. Did they give you any reason for that? No reason at all, my dear. No reason. And can you imagine I borrowed 19 million naira from the bank? And the interest is accumulating. That will be back. You should, I think you should just call up the bank and tell them to stop the interest. Uh, this, this is not as easy as you think. Daddy, calm down. Okay? I'm sure that at the end of the day, everything will turn out fine. I know what to do. I'm going to Abuja. It's either they keep to their words or pay me all the money that I have committed into this project. That is the only thing that is going to settle this problem. Daddy, calm down. Okay, just calm down. Everything will be fine. <sighs> no, it will not. You don't understand, my dear. It will not. 
You know, I, my business is going down the drain already. No one, not even a soul, to help me out financially. And if Dick's contract is not true, we're going to be in a very, very terrible state. Kitty, relax, okay? Just relax. Okay. Don't worry, I'll make food for you, okay? okay. Everything will be fine. Too expensive. Why don't we just stay here? I mean, just you and I, you know, alone, indoors. Oh, come on, baby. Let's quit doing the regular, okay? We'll go to this very nice hotel. We'll get to swim, room service, nice scenery. You know, and I have the buffet there. It's great. Hmm. You seem to have your mind already made up. Of course I do. Listen up. First of all, I'll go into my room, get my stuff, and then we'll go to your place, you get your stuff, and um, to the hotel. Okay. Honey, honey, honey. Um, um, meet um, Fred. Fred, my fiance, Lucy. Nice to meet you. Same here. So, Harry, what are you doing now? Well, you know, youth service. Just finished youth service, and I'm looking for job openings here and there. Really? Yes. Hey, you. What are you doing here now? Yeah, I came to see Dozi. 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 Yeah, he works with the bank now. Dozi now. Good boy, Dozi. Dozi is here. He's modding here right um, now. Honey, um, please, can you just give me five minutes? It's five okay. Minutes, please. I'll 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 just you by the
Construction workers. What? Who? You see her? That girl. Yeah, I see her. Who is she? I don't know. I saw her earlier on the premises. It's some guy like that. Some guy, my ass. I want that girl. Something about our cause, you know? Listen, go to the gift shop downstairs. Tell the manager I said he should give you uh, his best wristwatch or something. Then um, go to the bar. Get a bottle of wine or champagne or anything. Don't bring it on. Anything goes like wrap it up real nice. Give them to her with my compliments. Hmm? All right. Sorry, young lady. Uh, these are for you. A Boulevard wristwatch and more champagne. For you. For me? Yeah. From who? Courtesy of Prince Eric, the owner of this whole hotel. Why would the owner of the hotel want to give me all this? And you'll find out when you get to meet with him. At the moment, consider yourself a special guest. Anything and everything you take is on the house. So, come with me. <laughs> well, thank you very much. But, um, I'm not coming with you. <laughs> These are special gifts from a man you wouldn't regret knowing. Well, like I said, thank you very much. Tell him I said thank you. But I don't need all of this. Neither do I need any other thing he has to offer me. Okay? Now, and if you don't mind, I would like to be left alone. <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't mind some champagne? A little? Hmm? All right. Uh,
How did he go? <clears throat> she said thanks. But she can't accept anything from you. Thanks, but no thanks, huh? <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's Eric. I know a couple of prettier girls, you know. All I have to do is uh, make a phone call. I don't want your phone call. I want that girl. Nobody says no to Eric. What Eric wants, Eric gets. Hmm? She thinks she's special. It's our job to know why. You know? Well, every bird thinks she's special. All you need to do is find something to entice her into a cage. <laughs> but once she's caged, uh -huh. <laughs> you control her. So you find what will entice this bird into my cage. But she came with a man. Think I give a right ass? I don't even care if she's six months pregnant. What I want is what I get. You find what this bird likes. Bring her into my cage. It's that simple. Hmm? Yeah. I've been making a few phone calls in your absence. I understand they're in the single room. Yeah. One, two, seven. <laughs> I'll even send my junior staff <laughs> in a holiday to that room. <laughs> Change your status quo, so to speak. Cool, huh? um, move them. Move them to the executive room. Pack up their lifestyle well. With a buffet or, or something. Oh, yeah. Jacuzzi or sauna. Yeah. Whatever they like. Hmm? I got it. Yeah. Do exactly that. Stand some music head nigga China. Street warrior. Yeah. <laughs> can even spend a whole week here. No problem. Wait a minute. You mean we could stay here with all this executive treatment you've mentioned for free? <laughs> well, uh, like I earlier said, you have been upgraded. Um, whatever you want, just ask. Everything has been taken care of. Courtesy of the hotel. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, met at the hotel. Whoa. 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 Maybe I told you she come here. I told you. I told you. Enjoy yourself. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. 
Enjoy your music. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Wait a minute. Yes. Did I tell you something about some guy who came to me with some gift items by the poolside earlier today? Um, the guy from the owner of the hotel. Just, give me one minute. I mean, I mean the food. Just I'm, a minute. The food. It's a nice hotel, I must confess. Okay. And I hope you are going to come again. Oh, yes. Next time I'm in town, I'll check in here. And when next you come, we are going to give you a discount. Oh, that's lovely. So cool. Thank you very much. You give us a Okay. Excuse me. Oh, mother. Um, not really. I want to find out who is responsible for this upgrading. <laughs> well, madam, you're wonderful. You're very lucky girl. You see, the owner of this hotel has a special interest in you. Owner of this hotel? And who is the owner of this hotel? <sighs> Prince Eric Hallam. Hmm. <laughs> I don't understand. Is this the way he treats every girl that walks into this hotel? Oh, no, no, no. You are a special case. In fact, we hardly upgrade our guest here. I see. Thanks. Thank you very much. Hello? Okay, I'm already there. Unfortunately, I don't feel comfortable here. So just get your bags and let's leave. Please. Why? I mean, the food is great. Billy, let's go. Let's just go. Uh, Henry, look, if you're not coming with me, I'll leave you here. What, 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 what's, what's the problem now? Henry, let's leave. Let's get out of here, please. Get this every day. Man. Harry, got a big problem. Just checked out of the hotel. Checked out of the hotel. Yeah. Why? The manager said the girl came asking who was responsible for their movement to the executive room. And what did the idiot say? He said it's you. He really is an idiot. Him. Yeah, I'll do just that. That girl intrigues me. All of this. And yet she says no. <laughs> you know? I want you to follow her, keep a tap on her. I want to know everything about her. Everywhere she hangs with her broke ass boyfriend. I already sent boys to follow them and nukes at the way they're hanging out. Good. Good. She's like every bird, Collins. 
to fly around. But my cage is on her spaceship. Willing to find what she wants to be enticed with. And then we're going to put one big ass padlock on that cage. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright. See ya. friend want to talk with you. And who is this good friend? Would you mind stepping to the car? He's waiting. Hmm? You will have to wait forever because I am not going close to that car. Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. He's not a monster, right? It's not easy. Can I pass? Yes, you can. So why are you blocking my... Wait, 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 get my ear. You can't be too comfortable where you're going to stand. And I'm sure that it is none of your business if I'm comfortable or not. Well, it is my business. I hear that beautiful face to turn to barbecue. <laughs> well, in any case, I am... Um, is that why you've been rejecting all my canned gestures at the hotel? Oh, that was you. I mean, you were the one who ordered the um, executive treatment at the hotel, right? I like that word, executive. That's what I do. I turn people's lives around. Hmm? Well, it's the tip of the iceberg. It's absolutely nothing. If you get to know a man like me, I'll make you leave like a princess. I already leave like a princess. Thank you very much. But I have to leave. Listen, listen, this, this whole, <laughs> this whole attitude, um, I know it's necessary, but not in my position. It's absolutely uncalled for, trust me. Because to start with, when you get to know a man like me, you'll have your own car of any specification you wish. You don't have to come shopping here. People will do it for you. And you can go to all the exotic places in the world. Hmm? Have a nice day. You don't have to do this. I can change your life. Turn your world around.
you don't have to be mad at me. Oh, but I am. Where's my friend boxing right now? I happen to know he's in his office right now, so speaking. Anyway, I only come to deliver a message. If it is from Eric, I am not interested. <laughs> it's only natural for human beings to be cautious about what they don't know. I do that myself. You don't know Eric, I know. But I assure you, I appreciate knowing him. Sure. Are you done? Please leave. Just get out. Just go. Go, please. Sure, sure, sure. But would you mind stepping outside for a moment? <laughs> Whatever for. I got a big surprise for you. Big surprise. Really? Yeah. I'm not interested. Come on. this? Your car. Your brand new car. Eric said beautiful girl like you should be treated like a queen. You deserve your own car. So, this is a gift for him. Take it back. What did he say? I said take it back. Okay, if you prefer another color or another brand, you can take this back and get exactly your choice. I don't want anything from you. Now take this thing out of here before my father or my fiance walks in. Fiance? Look, Eric is more serious than your fiance. With complete respect for your father. This is your car. This is just the beginning of a new life as a princess. Now, listen to me. Tell Prince Eric, or whoever sent you here, that I said that I am not interested. I don't want anything from him. I do not want to be your princess. I am content with who I am. Also tell him that I said he should go to hell. Now take this thing out of here before my father comes back. You're telling me she rejected my gift? Rejected my hand of friendship? Why? She's just being strong-headed. Something about a fiancé like this. There's no such thing as a fiancé. does not exist. To give no confidence to serve people's selfish purpose. Plot to deceive. To think that girl turned down brand new car. If you ask me, that girl is not worth it. Hey. What did you say? I said she's not worth it. What? What gave you the right to think like that? Huh? Collins, I don't pay you to think. I pay you to act. Do you understand? And believe me, next time crap like that come out of your mouth, I will not only fire you and make sure that's the last job you get in this city. I don't care if we be friends for years. How dare you tell me that the girl I'm after is worthless? That's not exactly what I mean. You see, you gave her everything except offering to marry her. I mean... It... What did you just say? What said some offering to... I said offering to marry her. The only thing.
just a few weeks ago in Abuja. So, he refused me the contract. I did? <laughs> Uncle Tony can be here with you. But if you don't mind me saying so, if I'd known you maybe, say, a couple of weeks ago, the story might have been different. Forgive me, sir, but is there any way we can sit down and talk? Oh, oh sure, sure, yes. Let's come and excuse me, my last please. <laughs> CEO of Harkon Group. And the gentleman with me is Mr. Collins Davidson. He's my general manager. Welcome. How come? Oh, the oil drilling and uh, hotel services uh, and engineering company? One and the same. I'm glad you've heard of it. I was with your dad when he opened his hotel. How is he anyway? Unfortunately, um, father passed on. Oh dear. I'm afraid has been the um, situation for the past two months. I'm so sorry. He was an incredible man. He was. He was really. But um, I've seen some taking over him of affairs at Halcombe. And considering the over 60% recent rise in profits, we're not doing that. You're not at all. Well, what can I do for you? Well. I'm a man that's known for cutting to the chase, so to speak. Mm. I came in respect of your daughter. Wait a minute. My daughter? Lucy? Yes. What about her? What I propose is not a platonic relationship. I'm not interested in being casual friends either. I'm not as insulting man of your station. I want to marry your daughter because I've seen her the mother of my children. You want to marry my daughter, Lucy? Yes, sir. Well, don't you think she's got a stake in this? It's her decision. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's a liberal word now. No one has permissive as um, the word we reside in now. I mean, it's only fair to have seen her. But my condition is slightly different. You see, the cruciality of this matter can only require the kind of decision that um, the head of the family will make. And that is why I came to the head of the family. I, I don't understand. Uh, perhaps I should put it in another way, sir. Let me put it this way. You see, sometimes matters of the heart is very necessary. But other times it's not. You and I, sir, were men that are used to taking charge of situations. But two of a kind. 
You see, it is necessary to put the family first most times. And in this situation, logicality, most of our right emotionality. What I propose is a measure of sorts between our two families. Hmm. You see, I know your problem, sir. Don't ask me how. But I'm a man that has allowed access to a lot of very private information. For instance, your problem with DPR can be a thing of the past. My uncle is the director of the Paris Tata, totally take one phone call. The Harcum Group is the biggest conglomerate, the biggest stakeholder in the oil and gas sector. I have firmly sewn in my pocket all the head of Paris Tata's, captains of industry. Every major player in the oil and gas sector is firmly sewn. Do you know what will happen if I grant you access to all that power? Now between you and I, that is all I propose. It will put you to rest, sir, if I may say so. It will grant you unlimited access, both psychologically, socially, not to mention financially. That is all I propose. And so, what do I need to do? Speak to your daughter. That is all you're required to do. I understand that, um, apart from the orthodox father and daughter relationship, that you're very, very close. I appreciate that. Speak to her. Let her understand that logicality must override emotionality. Hmm? I can see that you have done your research so well. Okay, that's all right. I'll speak to her. I will make sure she understands what is good for her family and the kind of family she's getting herself into. It's good. Leave that to me. I like the way you put it, Chief. Because believe me, family is everything. Now I must um, crave your indulgence. Please forgive me. But I'm not a man that is steeped in um, traditional ways. But I came as a man nonetheless. This is a token. One million naira. It will suffice to buy your beautiful daughter a small gift and entertain your friends to usher in my presence. Tell them that I am a worthy suitor of your station in life has arrived. Listen, my son, I will make sure the dream comes true. I'll speak to my daughter. So she'll be listening. Good. Very good. And oh, Chief. Yes. As regards the, um, the DPR problem, mm -hmm. consider it solved. Oh, God. You'll Come get on. a call very soon. Thank you very much. I'm grateful. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad we understand each other, sir. I'll do my bit. All right, sir. I'll see you. Okay, young man. See you, sir.
Come, come, come. How are you? Um, hi. Hey. Daddy, you're looking too excited. I am. Wait. What? Has your contract been approved? Contract? Soon that contract will be absolutely inconsequential. You see, right now, the in thing is that your husband to be was here. Husband to be? Yes. Did Henry come to this house? Henry? Who is Henry? His name is Eric. What? He came to ask for a hand. The match! So I am going to be a grandfather very soon. My dad, I'm too happy by that time. They tell me you're happy. You mean Eric came here? You mean you don't know about it? seems to be very excited about him. I don't know what to do. Who is this man? And, and what's his relationship with your father? Henry, that is not the issue right now. Then what is the issue? What? Yes. Let's get married. Let's get married at once. You know, that way we'll stop them. Married? Yes. No, I don't have a job. I don't have a house. I'm only squatting here with Frank. I don't even have my own money. Good, calm down, okay? <laughs> Listen, I'll bring the money for the traditional marriage. Right? Darling, even if you do, I still don't have a job. How do I explain that to your father? Um, tell him that you have a job. Okay, just yes, just, just tell him that you have a job. I'll, I'll confirm that to him myself. Are you sure you're comfortable with this arrangement? Yes. Yes, I am. Because I know that together our future is secured. Okay. Don't worry. We met since our um, university days. He works for a communication company. Hey, Lucy, listen to me and listen very carefully. You know how I have tried to take care of you since your mother died? Everick is an answer to my prayer. He is influential and well connected. As a matter of fact, he's in a position to influence the approval of my DPI contract. So, what is your problem? Daddy. Daddy, this is my life, my happiness, my future we are talking about here. Eric has come to buy me and not to marry me. Daddy, please, please, say no to him, please. I need Eric. This family needs Eric. What Eric can do for us, because you are so-called Henry, you will not be able to do it for us. Dad, I don't know him. I don't know Eric. I don't love him. 
Daddy, please, try and understand, please. <sighs> My dear, you are more secured with Eric. If your mother happened to be alive today, I am 100% sure that she will approve of it. My mother would never stand by and watch me being sacrificed on the altar of business considerations. She would think about my life. She would think about my happiness, my future. Daddy, Daddy, how would you feel? If you know that every day in my married life I am not happy, how would you feel? How would you feel to know that I cry every day in my husband's house? Daddy, please, please think about my happiness. Think about my future, please. I love Henry. I have given my hand to him. Daddy, please think about my life. <laughs> That is half a million. Okay, sir. Two hundred thousand for the major domo. Okay, let him sort the whole um, domestic expenses out. And for the convoy service, every one of the cars, that's what 200,000 is for. I need a big ship. 100,000 will sort out your miscellaneous, whatever you want to spend money on. All right? Go to the bank. Let me respect you. Um, is the pen yours or mine? It's yours. Lucy is set to marry another man. Said guy called Henry. What? What is all this? This, this, this is pure man. Why can I conceive this? Look, all that girl has to do is ask, and whatever she wants will be hers. What is she trying to frustrate me for? This is madness. Who is the bigger baller than me in this town? Who is this Henry? What is his pedigree? What is his station in life? Why his parents? From what I heard, just a jobless man who just finished his service. You're telling me that girl prefers some jobless non-entity over me? Me, Eric Harlem? Maybe you're, you're going so hard on yourself. Come on. You, you tried. Nah, it's not about trial. It's about triumph. Think this is funny? It's been some kind of game to me? Because what Eric wants, 
Eric get? My dog. First thing I'll do is go get my own place. Hey, 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 don't, don't rush yourself. Right, you guys can stay here as long as you want until you put yourself together. No, 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 I, you have done too much for me now. Come on, how can I become, you know, excuse me, excuse me. Hello? Yes? Uncle Amadi. You're at the gate. Okay, I'm coming. Okay. Who was that? Yeah, an uncle of mine from the village. Um, he says he's at the gates. That should come and pay for his cab. <laughs> it's alright, it's alright. <laughs> yeah. Dry your tears, my dear. I believe there's a perfectly good reason for this. man enough. Oh, God, I get it. This is not the time to say something like that. Oh, my God. Look at the embarrassment I'm facing. Look at my daughter. But the day is not gone yet. Perhaps something came up. <sighs> no, Chief. Let's hope that the young man and the family will get in touch soon. To hell with them. Look at the embarrassment that my, 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 my family is facing. Why? Do I deserve that? <laughs> I told you. 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 Mrs. Number, he did not show up there. She is devastated. This is very serious. 
I mean, we have to go to the police. No, no. I don't think we can do that now. Why not? I mean, it's, it's all yours. It's missing. Perhaps, perhaps he had second thoughts about the wedding and just left. Without telling you or any of us in the house? This is very strange. Very strange. Strange. I don't understand. Let's, let's give him some time to see if he contacts any of us. And if he doesn't, then we can go to the police. Let me go to Lucy's father's place. Maybe, just maybe, he might be there. Please do that. Eh? Please. Eh? Please, don't, don't harm me, don't harm me, please, don't, don't kill me, sir. <laughs> anything you want, I will do, I will do, sir, please. We will not harm you, as long as your father paid the ransom for your release. My, my, my father, sir, my, my father is dead, he's been dead a long time ago, sir. You think we don't know you are the finance minister, son? Ah, sir, it's not me, you've got the wrong person, you, you're mistaken. My father is dead, I'm not the finance minister, son, sir, please, please, I'm, I'm the wrong person, please. Please, sir, please. You don't have time to waste here. You'll be here with us until your people start looking for you. Please, please, my people are not here. We've got the wrong person. If your people refuse to pay for your ransom, you become a dead man. Please, I beg you, I'm just an applicant, sir. Please, please, I beg you. I beg you, sir. Please, please, sir. I'm just an applicant. You've got the wrong person. I beg you. I beg you, please. This, I just came to find out if perhaps Henry has been here. Henry, you mentioned that name in this house. Do you know the embarrassment you and your Henry have caused me? Get out of my house. Get out! Oh, I want. I, I only wanted to find out. Oh, just be here. People. After your headstrong daughter refused my hand in marriage and went on to marry that imbecile, it's only natural you forget me. After all the respect and dignity I accorded your family. So you heard what happened? <laughs> but of course, Chief. News get around fast in this town, especially bad news. But you know the worst of it all? The fact that you refused to invite me to your daughter's wedding. I didn't know the situation was that bad, Chief. She preferred someone else. How could I have invited you? How could I have invited you and looked straight into your face after all you've done for me? No, no, Eric. I understand, Chief. 
But you see, I kept my side of the bargain because without our word, men like you and I would be nothing. I kept my side to the letter. DPR was quite a situation in your life, I know. I took care of it. Not only that, I facilitated your payment almost immediately. Yes, you did. So it is your part that was lacking. She's my only daughter. She threatened to kill herself. What can I do? You must understand my generation's penchant for theatrics. Uh, don't don't go that way. Everybody likes to leave, Chief. Leave that matter alone. Oh. Hmm? Well, would you like to sit down? Let's all sit down. Sit down. Let's address this matter like men. Hmm? It's no big deal. What has happened? Has happened. How to remedy it should be our concern now. That is what is of import. Consequently, if we put our head together, we'll find a solution. Because believe me, Chief, there are harsh whispers in town. And your social standing is being put in jeopardy. So what we have to do is see how we can clean the situation so we'll bring it to a happy end. The ball is in your court now. It is how you play this game that will bring you to a completed end. A very happy one, if I must add so. So. So, what, what do you want me to do right now? We came to see your daughter. We want a little bit of your cooperation. Okay. She'll be with us in a minute. Just give me a minute, let me go. Oh, let me go, go on. Another man. When I'm here to come out of the shock of Henry's disappearance. Eric is here to console you. You need someone to console you and to make you forget about this ugly incident. And that's why Eric is here. Let Eric just leave me the hell alone. If you had listened to me about that boy. Daddy, why do you keep blaming me as if I am the one responsible for Henry's appearance? I am not for Henry. Now, I want you to get up now and go and say hello to Eric. I will not. You will! Now! Lucy! I just want to give you back what you've lost. Your prestige, your honor. I am not interested. Why is it so hard for you to understand? Because I'm Eric. I understand what you want. And I can provide every second of it. Everything. What did you see in that morning anyway? Huh? He left you when you needed him most to look at you. 
I don't need anything you can offer me. Just let me be, please. Leave me alone. For whom? For that moron? That imbecile left you when you needed him most on your traditional day. And he just bolted into the blues. I mean, what do you see in a man like that? Who told you he bolted? Isn't it obvious? Wake up and smell the coffee. Your lover boy is not around anymore. Okay? Deal with reality. He left you the day you needed him most. Is that the kind of man you want? It is not what you want. Lies! Lies! Just listen. I don't want you. I don't want anybody else. So just, just leave me alone. Lucy. 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 I don't know where he is. Everybody can lie to me, but not you. Frank, you know where he is. Lucy, I wish I did. As a matter of fact, I came to your house that day, but your father drove me away. I'm, I'm as lost as you are. I am not lost. I have been abandoned by a man I trusted and loved. I'm not lost. Lucy, it might not be what you think. What exactly did he tell you? Did he tell you that he was going to abort the wedding and run away? No, he never said that. Then what did he tell you? He, he only expressed concern about not having a job his own house and enough money for the marriage. But I never took him serious. So, in, in other words, he, he abandoned me and bolted. Hmm. I didn't say that. No. Henry, there is no other explanation for that. Just... Listen, you, you did not do that. Lucy, he did not abandon you. Lucy! Lucy! So, what should we do? Should we waste him? No. Did you mention my name when you were with him? No. We made him believe that we mistook him for the minister's son. Keep it that way. Okay. I'll send um, Collins later with him for the instructions. Okay. Collins, that girl has to succumb. There's absolutely no option. I don't understand her. What drives that girl? We've hit her with everything we've got. How can she possibly be in love with a man that jilted her on her wedding day? That is supposed to be a woman's nightmare, right? She must be on drugs, man. Blind or plain stupid. Yeah. I prefer the latter option. She must be exceedingly stupid. 
I got words. She stays with her, some of her friends somewhere in First Avenue. It's this Saturday is her birthday. Any surprises? <laughs> I might have a few. A few up my sleeves. Oh, yeah. It's Saturday. I'm here. It's Saturday. Go. Just cheer up! Cheer up, Lucy. I don't have any reason to celebrate. I don't have any cause to rejoice. Come on, Lucy. Putting some wife into you. And at least open the gift we bought for you. Yes, I bought this gift for you. And it's so beautiful. Why don't you just open? You know this is bidding life. I wonder what's wrong here. The girls don't know what I've gone through. You don't know what I'm going through. Do you know what it feels like to be abandoned on your wedding day? Lucy, we were all there, remember? Yes. We're there with you. I don't Cheer up. Life has to go on, you know. Please. If Harry couldn't tell you what he was up to, then he's got no regards for your love. Oh, and yes. that's it. Uh, oh, forget oh. about him. <laughs> After all, he's not worthy to have you. See, so, I really appreciate what you girls are trying to do for me, okay? I, I really do. But the truth is that I still do not know what really happened to Henry. I can't seem to figure it out. Lucy, it's your birthday. Forget everything. Yes, okay. Let's be happy. Can you start the party without us? Huh? That is not so cool. Pour me a drink of oh, oh, don't get over. And how did you know that I'm here? Goldfish. That's not hiding place. You know? What's important is that I'm here. No, what is important is that you leave me alone. Why are you being so difficult? Don't you understand that I I care about you? you oh well, I that. don't care about you. Don't worry. All that will change. You know? It's life. And the only constant thing in life is change. The ladies will agree with me. <laughs> well, I didn't come to dampen your spirit, birthday girl. Came to perk things up, my traditional way, colors. Pearls of the purest kind. Exquisite. For women of red class. You know. I find pearls intriguing. It's ironic or um, it's associated with a woman's secret. They all come from the sea. Emeralds for the beauty as well. I actually called um, a prince in Morocco, one of my many business associates, and he tells me a bank was literally closed for these things. But not to worry, you're worth every dime I spent. Well. Wow. I am not interested. In what? Me? Or the Emirates? Both. Shame. You turned my father against me. Chased me out of my father's house. Made me look like a fool. Leave me alone. Please. I'm called Mr. Fix It, my dear. Lucy! Like Lucy! Lucy! Lucy. Lucy. Well, we'll out. Out. Okay, let's go. Oh. Listen, listen, listen. Lucy, Lucy. 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 Lucy.
so damn difficult. Don't you realize that you are the reason why I'm going through all these things I'm going through? If you had stayed away from me when I asked you to stop, all of this would never have happened even to the That's point. because you're so pessimistic. Just give us a chance and this thing will work out. A chance? There is never going to be any chance between you and I. Eric, just leave me alone. For Christ's sake, leave me alone. Listen, listen, listen. I just want to dry your tears. I just want to be a part of your life. That's all I want. Why are you wasting your time without more on the breaking nothing but pain? Listen. Listen. I love Henry. I have always loved Henry. And I will always love him. It's the thing of the heart and soul. I don't have any feelings for you. As long as Henry is alive, I will continue to love him. And that is the way it stays! Carlos, I want that man dead. I want him dead and buried where nobody can find him till the end of time. I will make myself crystal clear. Yeah. It'll be done. This is the last draw. Is he dead and buried? Yes, he's dead. I'm not sure of it. Please allow myself to look stupid and ask this question again. Two specific situations. Is he dead and buried? He's dead. Oh, you know buried. You know how stupid you sound when you sound like that. You didn't bury him. If you did not bury him, Moran, it means the body will be found. And if the body is found, it means he did not run away. Which conclusively means that he was abducted and murdered. Does that make sense? Where the body is, no one can find it. Well, moron, I know I can find it. And if I can, then any moron can find it. Who is your lazy asses and earn some of that money and pay you and bury him? Out of the way. Lucy will wait. And when she does not see him, she will come to me. And finally, Eric will get what Eric wants. Are you sure this is the place? I'm sure this is the place. Look at blood. There, where is the body? I'm sure we didn't bury him. He must be somewhere. We must search for him. Somebody must have discovered the body. 
We have to leave this place now. What do we tell Eric? We tell him we are buried him. That's all he wants to know. Let's go. Let's get out of here now. Let's go. We have finally found him. Henry! We have found him! We have found who? Henry, sir. Yes? Does that take away the shame we brought to my family? Shut up and get out. Excuse me, sir. sir he is I said get out of my house. He is barely alive. So he, he, he said he was abducted by some strange people that wanted to use him for ritual purposes or Please, where is he? Where is he right now? He's at the hospital. He's asking after you. You have to take me there right now, okay? No, Just no. take me uh, there right now. No. Take me there. Daddy, oh. excuse me. Excuse me. Where are you going? Lucy. 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 a phone call from a man who claimed to be my uncle from the village. When I went to pay for his cab fare, two men pointed guns at me and said what? they would shoot me if I did not cooperate with them. They kidnapped me and took me someplace where they claimed I was the son to the Minister of Finance. What? Minister of Finance? How? They said they would not leave me unless my father paid a ransom. I begged them. They beat me up, oh my kicked God. me, and left me for dead. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. How could, oh. anybody, how could anybody do this to um, you? I found him half dead on the road. In fact, I almost ran over him with my car. So oh. I have to bring him here yesterday for treatment. God, thank you. Thank you so much. It's okay. God will bless you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm oh, sorry, darling. Tomorrow you'll be fine, okay? I'll stay here and make sure everything goes on well. They lied to me! They bloody fools lied to me! Give me everything and drop it now! Believe me, before this day is done, I'm going to have your head in the protein bag. I promise you that. Wait, are you sure what you heard? It could be a rumor. Rumor? God, I'm stupid. Do I look stupid to you? Huh? Chief Okaro confirmed that he's alive. I have to speak that girl's with him in the hospital. Man, this is bad news. But not as bad as if I catch those boys. Because if I catch them, if I catch them, they will feel me. Boss will feel me. It was all your fault. You hired those morons. Now I'm back to square one. It was all your fault.
sun and the stars What you put is what you get What you put is what you get I should make your bed you lie on a jukebox I should make your bed you lie on a jukebox You gotta put this drink down. Put it down. Go away. Leave me alone. You have to get on with your life. I mean, you can't live like this. No way. Any woman you want, just snap your finger and you got them. Why are you not happy, Rick? Why? Because I can't have Lucy. I'm not having it. What's so different about this Lucy? What? Thank you. Ah. Uh, 
supervisor at the engineering depot or something, anything. Just give me a job. Are you out of your mind? 150,000 a month. The police. A car. Just give me. to come despite the short notice. Um, thank you very much, sir. Uh, I must say I'm very grateful you know, for the letter your company sent me for a job offer. You have the right qualifications, though not much of a working experience. Um, sir, all the same, I promise to work hard to justify your interest in me. Anyway, my boss has special interest in you, considering the ordeal you passed through prior to your wedding. Sir, are you trying to say the MD knows about my kidnap? Yes, he's close to your father-in-law, Chief Okao. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Anyway, let's get to see him. I get you acquainted. All right, sir. Yeah. Um, that has been signed. Give it to the secretary and to file it away and tell us I need the up um, date on the Sokoto construction okay. and the refinery we're opening in Jobs. Okay? Okay. have a wonderful time without doing your career, I can assure you. Uh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Thank you, sir. Um, call me Eric. Please. It's informal around there. Everybody does. Hmm? family, you know, your father-in-law, your wife, the whole family. Yes, uh, the general manager actually told me about it. Well, close. Closer than close. I, um, do you know that I actually asked your wife's hand in marriage first? Hmm? Oh, 
but uh, of course she uh, refused to turn me down. But um, seeing you now, I know why. You're an excellent chap. Very brilliant young man. Um, what can I say, sir? Uh, thank you all the same. Well, you know, I'm, uh, I'm sorry I didn't make your wedding. I had person issues to take care of in New York, so I was away. But consider this job offer um, a wedding gift of sorts. Hmm? Thank you, Mr. Eric. Eric. Call me Eric. Everybody does. Hmm? Thank you. And I do assure you of my loyalty and also you will not be disappointed with my services. I know. I have good instincts. Let us dispense with the nonsense. Hmm? Get to the crux of the matter, as my father will say. All right, here is what we will do. You allow me the privilege of taking you to your living quarters personally. We we'll go in my car. Okay? Let us take the booze by the horns. You know, you are like a polished diamond. The little polish you will smack up. I see. Beginning of Austrian so happy. Yes, yes. We got each other here. Okay, um, the face over there and the china. Squeeze it. Every piece of it. You know, I hope you and your lovely wife enjoy a lot of happy memories here. Of course we will, sir. Of course. Of course. I hope Lucy will be so proud of me. So I have you to thank for all of this. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's nothing. Absolutely nothing, okay? I, um, I want you to look at me beyond the employer status quo, you know, something of a friend. I like to be able to ask you at some time to have dinner with me. Huh? Sir, it will be our pleasure hosting you here. <laughs> God, I, I, I can't really quantify how much thanks I have for you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's nothing, absolutely nothing. Um, you know, I want to be able to enjoy a special relationship between myself, uh, you, and your very lovely wife. Of course. 
for, sir. And, and I do anticipate better things to come in the nearest future, sir. Oh, and that's gold, my man. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I anticipate something far more than you can possibly imagine. Yeah? Well, um, listen, I need to leave you, okay? Savor the success. Enjoy yourself. Call your wife. Let's do what we your men do when we break even, okay? And uh, take it easy. Your work is coming out tomorrow, okay? So when you're done, give me a call tomorrow next. Come by the office. Let's start cracking this nut. All right. All so right? Thank you. Thank All you right. so much, sir. Uh, give me a bell if there's a, an emergency of sorts. All right. And let me get the right for the executive. And oh, 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 oh. Listen, keep it harsh for now as regards the house. You, know? you don't want the big boys getting jealous, all right? Okay. All right. My pleasure. Come on. This job offers a salary of a hundred and fifty thousand naira. Including all our allowances, an official car, and love you need to see our new home. God, that blows me. Oh my god, all this in one day, in one day, darling. I never expected it this big, this this fast. I never did. When did you apply for this job? See, the funny thing is, I never applied for this job. Yes, the general manager told me that the MD of this company had a special interest in me despite my lack of experience. Interesting. This is really interesting. Now, what's the name of this big, big company? Um, it's called Halcom. Halcom Group. Or oh, an engineering firm. A big, big engineering firm. The biggest in West Africa, I must tell you. Halcom? Yes, Halcom. You're talking about Eric Ali? Yeah. You know him? Because he says he knows your family. You're not taking that job. Then why not? That is the man who desperately wanted to marry me. I thought I mentioned that to you. Yeah, he did mention it. Mentioned what? You know that uh, he did ask for your hand in marriage and you chose me instead. And he said, man to man, no hard feelings. No hard feelings. That's what he said. This is our future we're talking Honey, about. Honey, listen. That man, I don't trust him. Our prayers have been answered. Let's just put the past behind us and, and let's not let go of this golden opportunity. Let's grab this opportunity so we can live properly as husband and wife and stop squatting with Frank. Darling, I need this job. We need this job. Look, Eric, it doesn't sound like Assess it and give me your opinion. All right, First sir. First, we'll meet um, at the office. Okay? All right, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. And uh, more importantly, I would love to take you up on that offer for dinner. 
you know, I'm a bachelor, I'm gonna take offers like that seriously. Of course, sir, anytime, anytime. Yeah. Without that, sir. So, um, how are you enjoying your new home? Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful, fine. In fact, my wife loves it the more, and I must tell you, she has become much more radiant since we moved in. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Well, um, speaking of your wife, um, where is she? I would love to say hello. Yeah, she just went to the bedroom. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll go call her for you. All right. I am not going anywhere. What do you mean by that? I am not going out there to satisfy that man's ego. What ego? What are you talking about? Why can he leave us alone? He gave you a job and then I'll say what? That doesn't mean that he should come here at will. Is this some kind of joke or something? I am not joking. Listen to me. Eric came here because I invited him to dinner. Informing me? Lucy, Eric is a fine gentleman with a big heart. And a big nose who goes about sniffing into other people's affairs. Shh! What's wrong with you? Is there any other thing besides this you and Eric issue, or is there something you're hiding from me? I am not hiding anything. I just don't trust that man. Then stop being a little kid, go into that sitting room, and show I get some good manners. Talk. I'm so ashamed of you. Hmm. You're ashamed of me. <laughs> um, okay. You want me to go and say hi to him? Nice, okay. nice. Okay. Was this something I said perhaps? Uh, 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 no, sir. You, you see, I had this, you know, little quarrel with my wife and she's just being childish. Of course you know women, don't you? <laughs> yes, I do. Um, listen, I have to run, okay? Um, please, um, look at the file, like I said. Let's discuss it first thing in the morning when you come by the office. Okay? Yes, sir. And, um, do give me a bell if um, there's something of paramount you want to discuss. All right, sir. Oh. Um, I'm sorry I barged in. Perhaps I should call next time. Uh, sir, just, just feel free to come in any time. Any time, sir. I'm relieved. Once again, I'm very, very it's sorry. Nice. Very nice. Women are not erratic. They're not women. What can we do? Can't live with them? Can't live without them, right? Of course, sir. Okay. All right, I will go down. Please come up. All right, sir. I'll see you all. Well, absolutely.
Eric. Hello, Eric. Ah, uh, listen, I'm sorry to disturb you so late, but uh, I need you to do me a great favor. It's all right, then I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning. Uh -huh. Maybe right away. Right away? <sighs> Eric is 11.30 in the night. I'm away, Henry. The point is I'm at the airport as we speak and uh, I just picked up some of our foreign associates. They flew in from New York and we're heading to the office with conference. So I'm going to require that file I gave you earlier. It's very, very urgent. So if one you should be kind enough to bring it over to the office. Hmm? Uh, it, it, it's all right. I'll, I'll be on my way. Good man, Harry. Good man. Uh, sorry to stop my old wife so late. Yeah. See you soon. What is it? It's Eric. He wants me to come to the office right away. Is he insane? Look, it's almost midnight. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's rather awkward. Look, tell him you're going to come tomorrow morning. He's late. No, no. I already assured him I was on my way. by 12 midnight, for Christ's sake. What's happened last night? You never showed up. Are you out of your mind? How did you barge into my office unannounced? You called me in the middle of the night. Said I should come wait for you at the office, but you never showed up. What about it? What about it? It was 11.30 in the night when I should have been on my bed with my wife. I'm at the last year. Am I not supposed to be the employer? 
we should be asking the questions. And you, the employee, we should be answering the questions anytime I deem it necessary. Isn't that so? With all due respect, sir, that's only during official hours. That is a potent point. But a very stupid one. So I wonder, the um, car and the house I give you, do you use them only during official hours as well? Hmm? Let's get reasonable. No, you be reasonable. I can't do this nonsense long enough. Now I'm sure you have work to do on your table. So why don't you go out there and earn some of that money and pay you? Before I really get angry. Is that all you have to say to me? No. I could fire you. But let's just say I'm willing to develop temporary amnesia and forget all this drama didn't happen. You should get out of here fast enough. Go on. Nice jacket, by the way. You're really living it up with them. So, uh, you wanted to see me? Oh, yes. Uh, you have to prepare to travel. You're going for a three day trip to Patakot. Patakot? Um, why, if I may ask, sir? You see, we have a little problem with our offshore operations and we need you to supervise the repairs there. And when would this be? Today. Today? Yeah. As a matter of fact, you have a reservation for the 5.30 flight. <sighs> so this is... this is sudden. Anyways, I have to get home and get a few things and, of course, inform my wife. Do whatever you have to do. And make sure you'll be on a flight. All right, sir. He's going to pick up his things. He should be on 5.30 flight. Good. Keep him there for at least, uh, say, two weeks. Two weeks? Mm -hmm. Forgive my asking, shouldn't you have sent a more experienced engineer there? Mm -hmm. Maybe we should have. But I was under the impression that 
and we needed a field experience, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. Mm. Well, there's a party this weekend with all the usual trappings. Are you game? Yeah, yeah. Just give me a call. This fire's there. Oh, yeah. All yeah. of them. Yeah, the road construction fire. There. All right. See you around. What are you doing here? You know my husband is not in because you sent him to Utakot. I know, I know. Do you mind if I sit down? I did not send your husband to Utakot. And what are you talking about? He came to the office and um, asked for permission to visit his sick aunt in Norway. Naturally, I granted him. My husband said that you sent him to Patakot on official duty. Why don't you wake up and smell the coffee? He's lying to you. Don't you see? He's obviously got um, a round over one of his many girlfriends somewhere. And he had to lie to get there. Eric, why are you here? I don't want to believe you came all the way just to tell me all those lies. You know what? You don't seem to understand, do you? Hmm? Just how comfortable I can make you. Hmm? I can give you the word and everything in it. Look up. Everything I give to him, and I mean every single thing, I give because of you. Hmm? Do you know that? Now I want you to picture, set yourself on a higher plane, on the horizon, and begin to picture what it would be like if you are mad. That monkey is not the kind of man you want. I am. Get out. No. Don't you ever walk out of me. Ever. Out! If you don't want my husband to work for you, all you need to do is say so! 
don't leave! of entertainment programming from the comfort of your home through our satellite delivered channels in your favorite languages French, English, Swahili, Sri, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba and so on. Our forever dubbing services with the largest number of dubbing studios in Africa we can help you dub your videos to major languages in Africa Swahili, English, French, Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, Wolof, Zulu and so on. Our forever YouTube 
the largest YouTube partner in Africa with over 500 channels of top African entertainment and millions of eyeballs daily. We help thousands of video creators make money on YouTube. Afarevo, the revolution is on.